All right, let's go ahead and start modeling the architectural exterior shell for this three-story building. I have referenced in here the structural frame model and we're going to work around that. As I said, the, the model placement tools that we're going to use are all located on the architectural design task. And we'll go ahead and start with the place wall tool. First thing we're going to do is select the wall that we want to place. We have both compound and single layer walls. A compound wall being a wall made up of several layers such as brick and metal studs and insulation and they're all placed together as one component that is graphic grouped together. So let's go ahead and select the first one there on the list. Now you'll notice as I opened this dialog and selected the wall I was going to use it actually set the active family in part at that time so that's all been set for me that in turn set the proper level and the proper symbology for that wall next we are going to set our placement options for instance we could place a linear arc or curved wall we can place that left center or right of our placement line we could place it as a closed wall similar to placing a closed shape and we could turn on auto connect so that we connect to other walls we might come in contact with. We'll leave the top options as a fixed height and we'll set that height. I'm going to adjust it slightly here and set it at 14.4 inches. We could also put in a side offset, an offset from our placement line or a base offset. Once we've set our placement options we could switch to the properties tab and here there are all sorts of properties associated with this wall, acoustical ratings or fire ratings, and we could set those as well prior to placing the wall. They can, of course, be modified at a later time as well. And then we are basically ready to start placing our wall. However, you always want to check two things before you place objects in the model. The first is your floor plane. You want to make sure you are placing the objects on the correct floor. In this case, we'll set it to the ground floor. Once that's set, you also want to make sure that your ACS plane lock and ACS plane snap lock are locked so that ensures you're actually placing the objects on that floor plane. When they're red, they're locked. If they're green, they are unlocked. So now let's place the wall. I'm just going to drag that out of the way. I'm going to place this wall by snapping to the edges of the slab. I can work in any of my open views. Until I've placed the perimeter wall.